Greetings, I'm Stephanie Wilson Coleman, The Empowerment Doctor, and today I wanna to talk about ways to beat the blues. So this is gonna be part one. The first thing is to avoid wallowing in your problem. If there's a specific thing that's causing you to feel down, avoid dwelling on the issue. Take action to resolve the challenge. If this is too difficult at the present time, then concentrate on something else. Shift your mind over to something that makes you happy. The second thing is keep busy with things you enjoy. If you have free time, why not fill it up with things that you like? Go with the tried and true activities that you know you enjoy doing. Chances are you will have a smile back on your face in no time. Number three is seek out the company of others. You may get the blues because you feel lonely. There's probably someone out there that you can spend some time with, even if it's not one of your close friends. Just come up with an activity that you both enjoy and just sit down and chat. The fourth is pursue a new hobby. Are you feeling blue because you're bored? Often I'm bored. So start a new hobby. Start one that you've always wanted to try. You might even embark on a new lifetime of enjoyment through this new activity. And the fifth is take a class. Pick a subject that you have interest in and sign up. If you get yourself jazzed up about a new class, you are likely to leave your blues behind in progress. I want you to try these five tips and let me know how they work for you. Um, I'm Stephanie Wilson Coleman, The Empowerment Doctor, and these were five of the nine ways to beat your blues. Tune in to part two for number six, seven, eight, and nine. Have a great day. Remember, life is too short to drink cheap champagne.